For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovux.net. They currently have a sale on. If you use promo code HALLOWEEN50 at checkout, you'll get 50% off your first month payment. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be sharing to do the MLG flashing text in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now if you've been following my channel, you noticed I have done MLG videos in the past and I've made it easier for you. All my MLG videos are now in a playlist, so you can go to it in the description and you can find out my MLG tutorials. So the first thing you need to do is open up Sony Vegas and get to your media generators. If you don't have this right here, come to View, Windows Layout, and click Default Layout. Now from there come to media generators, now add legacy text and just pick default or it can be literally any text, I personally pick default. Now your text can say whatever it wants to so I'm just going to call mine, well, I'm going to have what my YouTube is. So that right there. Now the font can be whatever you want, the size can be whatever you want and it can be bold if you would like. Now the next thing just X out of this, I'm going to add a background to it so right click here, insert a new video track and I'm going to come and add a solid colour. And I'm just going to add a white background like so. And there we go. You can see the text is going to go. That is because the white background is on top. So we go ahead and left click this and just drag it down like that. So now the text is still on top. But remember it is a white text. So we need to go ahead and start making the flashing colors. So now we're going to make the text actually flash. So click this right here or click right click and click edit generated media. Now from here we're going to start making it flash. So come to properties. Now come to animate at the bottom. Make sure sync cursor is checked to make sure you're right at the start. And we're going to start off with the first colour and I'm going to pick black. Now the way you do this, just left click here, zoom in with the mouse wheel and maybe every 3 to 5 keyframes or depending how fast you want this flash to happen, then you can change colour. So I've clicked right here with the left click and now I'm going to use that right arrow key, so 1, 2, 3. And I'm doing it every, actually I did it every 4. So every 4 and now I'm going to go to a light blue and that's the way I'm going to do it the entire time. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we go again. And you can also see right here, I've, this is the second time I've done four, so I'm on eight. So all you need to do is keep going through like this. So yes, it is time consuming, but definitely worth it once it's done. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go pick a red. Uh, one, two, three, four, maybe a pink. One, two, three, four, maybe a... Uh, we'll go for a green. One, two, three, four. We can go for that purple. And that's basically it. So I'm going to finish off doing all of this I believe it is it's about 10 seconds so it's gonna take some time but it will look really good so once it's done I'll be back with you So as you can see it is now done, it's a 10 second clip and that took about 10 minutes to do. Now one thing I should have told you at the start, right at the very first keyframe, add a stroke or a draw an outline right here. So come to the effects tab, draw an outline and have it around that. Now once you do it on the first keyframe, it will be there the entire video. So I kind of messed up so you can see if I go to a next keyframe, it's going to be gone. But let's go ahead and take a look at what I've created. So there you go, that is how you do flashing MLG text. Very, very simple to do, and it looks very good, so it's definitely worth the time. So that is it for this video, thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the start of the video, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, and Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when we're posting and what we're posting. Also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel, which I keep you updated on the latest technology. And finally, be sure to go and add me a Snapchat, or just show what I do throughout my day. See you guys, been casual savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.